Hello, I'm Heather Collins from PRMC here at WBOC's Historic Studio D, and you're watching Delmarva Life. Really interesting information Dr. Collins had about EIB. Yes. I did not know that. I wasn't aware of all that either. I, I guess I just clumped it all into asthma. Yeah. I didn't know. Hmm. Well, according to recent statistics, 53% of recent U.S. college grads are jobless or underemployed. So what can you do to set yourself apart in this competitive job market? Candace Coleman thought her resume had it all. But since graduating more than a year ago, she hasn't been able to find a job in her field of health sciences. You spent four years with a major and two minors, and it hasn't helped you at all. She sent out more than 30 resumes, but hasn't landed one interview. Without steady income, Candace was forced to move back in with her parents. Almost feeling like a failure, because you have to come back and rely on them. Recruiting specialist Yolanda Owens works with grads like Candace every day, and her first tip hang out with people who already have jobs. Many companies have employee referral programs, so there's a monetary incentive for recommending you. Networking is vital, but Yolanda says don't give someone your resume until you have three meaningful contacts with them. If someone who doesn't know you from a can of paint is not going to trust you enough to be able to recommend you for a position. Yolanda also says make your resume as specific as possible and quantify it. Don't just say you raised money, say how much you raised. Also, make it simple bullet points, not paragraphs. Give the employer three weeks to process, and once you get an interview... Make sure that you prepare a couple of stories about yourself that really display your leadership, your confidence, and what you've done to improve a role. Candace hopes her big break will come soon, but she is considering grad school. It's almost like college is the new high school diploma, and you have to have your master's to be considered. A tough environment that a new generation of workers will have to outsmart to succeed. And a few more tips. Clean up your social media. Check for any questionable pictures on your Facebook page. Delete them. And Yolanda says when networking, it's often better to email your LinkedIn profile rather than just handing somebody a hard copy of your resume. It's a little more subtle. Now, the jobless crisis is not just happening in the United States. Throughout the European Union, unemployment among those aged 15 to 24 is soaring. 22% unemployed in France, 36% in Italy, and a whopping 51% are unemployed in Spain. And it's not just workers in their 20s looking for jobs these days. Unemployment is what a lot of older Americans are facing as well. Many are out trying to find a job for the first time in decades. So we broke down some job finding tips by generation, starting with the 30s. Of course, your first step is to make a resume. At this point in your life, you should have some experience to report. Coordinate your references. Talk to previous employers about providing a reference on your work. Educational references can also be used if your job experience is minimal. And devote enough time to write a cover letter. Letter, Though not all companies require a cover letter, some spend some time crafting a basic structure that introduces you to Prospective employers, touch on your objectives, short-term career goals, and interest in the company. And you want to volunteer your time to another organization. Volunteering to sit on panels, work special events, or participate in other activities for nonprofit organizations not only can lead to a job within the establishment, but also improve your skill set. Add people to your network and enhance the diversity of your work experience. Okay, so let's move on to your 40s according to jobhunt.org. Update your knowledge before sending out resumes even if you have been keeping up with new skills and technologies. You may have missed the latest industry jargon and trends. Limit your resume to two pages focused on the past positions that are most relevant and impressive with regards to the job you're applying for. And if you're interviewed by a younger manager, make a point of describing situations where you worked well with younger people, especially if they were younger leaders. And for the folks 50 and over looking for a job, this is according to Forbes magazine, cast a wide net. Don't try to replicate your old job in your previous industry. Change it up. Look at your skill set and past experience as transferable to lots of different challenges and fields. Now, if you're switching industries, you're not reinventing yourself entirely. You're redirecting skills you already have in place, not retraining for entirely new ones. Focus on smaller companies and nonprofits. They're more likely to value your experience, as Covington found out. 
fewer employees mean all hands on net deck need to bring their A game. You can provide the depth of practical knowledge and versatility that's worth two junior hires. And the learning curve is not as steep. And finally, network. In this era of online resumes, it's all about who you know that can get you in the chair for a face-to-face -face meeting. People want to hire someone who comes with the blessings of an existing employee or colleague. It makes their job easier. That's a card younger workers can't play. And join LinkedIn. It's a great way to pull together your professional network. And of course, if we missed any of uh, you missed any of this advice, you can go to DelmarvaLife.com. A lot of good stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, still ahead on Delmarva Life, we first met Ken and Dale Dunning when they were chosen to receive a new home and soup kitchen courtesy of Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Well, we're checking back with them to see what their life has been like since hundreds of community members joined together to build their dream home and why they still haven't been able to use the property the way they had hoped to. And while we're talking makeovers, give your hair a makeover with today's daily deal. 50% off of Paul Mitchell, Awapui Wild Ginger Kara Triplex Hair Treatment. It's all from Head Mechanics in Rehoboth Beach. And don't forget, you can get the daily deal on DelmarvaLife.com or download the free Delmarva Life Daily Deal app for your iPhone, iPad, or Android. Now you can get our great deals right in the palm of your hand. We'll be right back. <laughs>